Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll discuss about the page builder functionality in Magento 2. So I believe most of you must have heard about page builder. So let's get started with this video. And in this video, we'll try to create a block or we can say a content, static content in the product details page using a widget. So let's get started with the video. So in the admin, first of all, you have to go to the stores. In the configuration, we have to go to this general tab and we have to scroll down to the content management menu. So over here, we have an option called the advanced content tools. So over here, we have to enable this enable page builder and enable page builder content preview. So we have to mark it as, mark it as, as yes. So once that is done, that means the page builder functionality is enabled now in your Magento uh, administration page. Now, what we can do, we have to create a block first. So what I can do, I have to go to this content and uh, let me create blocks. Okay. What I have to do, I have to click on add new block. Over here, let's say uh i want to give the block title over here so what i can do uh, i can give up a title let's say uh new sorry new collection new collection slider so over here also new collection slider so you can give whatever name you prefer so since I'll be installing one slider in the product details page, so I've given this name and the identifier. Now, if I scroll down the store view, we can select the store view. Now, if I scroll down, now if you see that is a page builder uh, tab is here. So that means page builder is nothing but a drag and drop feature where you can add number of contents in a particular uh, section using a drag, drag and drop. So which is very much easy to use. Okay, so what we can do, we have to click on this edit with page builder. Now this page will open up. Now what we can do over here in the left hand side. So we have these layouts that is a row, column, tabs. And so what it will do, it will insert a new row. Column will insert a new column. Tabs will insert a new tab. Elements, if I click, it will show us this text, heading, buttons, divider, HTML code. Media, if I select, I can insert image, video, banner, slider, map. And let's see what is there in the content. Content we can have new blocks and the products over here. Fine. And at the top, we have this desktop view and we can also see the mobile view. If you want to see the mobile view, you can also change this particular view as well. Apply template and save as template. So whatever content we are saving it here. So we can also save it as a template so that it can act as a template for other widgets or other blocks. And uh, over here, uh, once we have an existing template, we can also use this particular apply template as well. So if I click on apply template, since I don't have any other templates, it's completely empty. So once, so once I have some templates over here, I can select the templates from here. So let us go to this particular uh, desktop view and let's add something. So what we can do over here, I can use a row. Since it's, it will, it is going to be a row uh, format. So this is the row that I have given over here. And let's see what else we have over here inside this particular settings. So here I think it is hide and duplicate and delete. I can also drag and drop uh, this particular change the position of this particular row since it's uh, having a single row. And if I click on this particular settings, it says appearance content full width, full bleed, minimum height, vertical alignment, background color, background type, background image mobile image, background size, position, attachment, advanced, border length, and we can also have these margins and paddings over here. So currently it is all in default mode. Now, I'm not going to do any sort of changes in the settings, so let it be as it is. So what I can do over here, uh, over here, if I go down, there's a section called products. Let's see what we have over here. So if I drag and drop here in this particular element let's see i'll just repeat it again so what i did i just to, uh, clicked on this particular section called app products and dragged it over here in this particular 
uh, section. The moment I drag it over here, now I'm what I can see, I can see one row is there. This is the row. These are the product section. So inside the row, there is a product section. So what I can do, I have to go to this particular edit option. How I want this particular slider. I want a slider or I want it as a grid. So let me choose a carousal. Now select products by category, SQ condition. So we can choose any of these things over here. So let me just select one category. If I go to this category, uh, let's say I can select these new products. So what it is doing, it is selecting the products from this particular new products category. So number of products to display is 20. Carousal is default or continuous. Auto play is off. So I can change whatever I feel like. Show arrows, yes. Infinite loops, so that means it will continuous. There will be a continuous uh, circular loop kind of a thing. Alignment, default, border, if I want to give any sort of border, border radius, margins and all. And as well as a uh, margin and padding is there. I can give this particular thing as well. So once I save it, it is loading. Now see over here, these are the new products that have come from this particular new products category that I've selected. Fine. This is the desktop view. If I want to see the mobile view, this is the mobile view. Okay. I think this is done. We are done with this particular slider. So you can just see everything. You can just experiment with the various types of uh, options that we have. Let's say I want to give a heading over here. Uh, if I drag and drop, one minute. Okay, now here I can edit the heading text. Or I can give new products, sorry, uh, new products collection. Whatever you can feel, you can give it over here. I can change the position. So let's say new product collection. Yes, now you can see the preview over here. Once that is done, so my page, so whatever content I have to make with page builder, that is done. So you can experiment with your own content. It is super easy. So I have saved the block. Fine. Now what I can do, the block has been created. Now I have to create the widgets. Now in the widget, I have to click on add widget. Type, what type of uh, block it is. So it was a static block. Design Magento Luma. Click on continue. Widget title, uh, new products collection, all store views. Now here I want to add it for the details page. Display on where? Display on, uh, over here I can select the generic pages, the products or the categories. So if I want to select a specific page, because I want to view the particular slider in the product details page only. Excuse the noise, please. Okay. So over here. So what I can do over here, catalog product view, any. I have to select this because I have, I can see that particular slider in the product details page. Container, where I want to see the container. Uh, main content, bottom. So this is the container. So you can play around with these options over here. So I've selected these two options and widget option. I have not selected the block. Let us select the block. So this is the new collection slider. This is the block that I've selected. Once that is done, just click on save and continue. So the widget instance has been saved. So our block has been created. Our widget has been created. So when that is done, just flush the cache. Once that is done, uh, I can move to the front end and see that particular slider, whether it is coming up or not. While we wait for the cache to flush, let's check this quick video. Presenting you the Cloudways, the one-stop solution for hosting your websites. As it says, it is fast, simple, and reliable. And if you see, there's a trial period for which you can try. It's a three-day trial period without any credit card information. 570,000 plus supercharged websites and 25 by 7 real-time expert support. Yes. Simplicity that saves times, performance without bounds. So you can definitely check out this Cloudways website and you can go through the various features that is it is providing. And over here, if you see, if I scroll down, there are these kind of applications which can be run on Cloudways, the WordPress, Magento, Laravel, PHP. So over here, if I scroll down more, there are some happy customers and you can just check out their uh, reviews for Cloudways. And these are the partners of Cloudways, Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Linkcode, Malcare, Cloudflare, and Object Cache Pro. 
and if you want to know more about the company you can directly check out their about us a page where it states about the leadership team and you can definitely check out their page and learn more about them now what i can do i can quickly go to the login and start showing you how you can manage your websites so i have already logged into this account and over here if you see i can select the application wordpress woocommerce php and magento that is the latest version 2.4.5 with elastic search i can name the application name the server and name the project or over here i can select the service providers digital ocean vulture link code aws and gcp for the trial periods aws and gcp is not are not available so but you can definitely try it out for the digital question vulture and the link code and over here you can see select the ram size so this is what i was saying it is simple reliable and fast so a technical non technical guy can use it on and over here i can select the locations bangalore toronto frankfurt amsterdam new york singapore san francisco and london so based on the selection also i can see the pay as you go pricing model over here at the bottom that is 96 dollars per month obviously you can cancel it any time and also once your application is set up and running you can definitely check all the stats about the application and its stay and its status Uh, about the particular website using this application tabs and you can also manage your team as well as the projects and if you want to avail more discounts you can use my coupon code mage digest 20 to avail 20% discount for the first two months so that is all about cloudways let's continue with the video so let us wait for few time uh yes the we have flush the cache storage so let us move to the front end this is my website if i see go to this luma go to any product let's say dresses uh select any one particular product press scroll down yes so now if you see uh i can only see the three products over here so that you can select whatever category you wish to you can select it so currently you can do not see any slider because in total there are only three products so there is no point of showing the slider over here so let me let me do one thing let me change the category so at least it will look nicer over there so i have to go to this particular blo blocks i just need to change the category remember we have to set that particular category that we have selected for the new collections so let let me just change that go to edit with page builder products we have to edit it uh i have to select the categories let me select something uh, yes dresses okay so 2004 total 192 not visible fine fine not no problem because number of products to display is 20 no problem at least it will look nice okay see now it has come let us see live in our website so once that is done you have saved the block let me just refresh this particular page yes see new products collection this is how the then there you can see the slider if you click on this you will see the slider so you can just move around using this arrow so i think this is how we can play around with the page builder feature which is a super important feature in magento's admin where it's a drag and drop feature and it's very much important and anyone can use it and build their own content for the front end whatever they want to So I think that's all in today's video. If you like it, just like the video and share it with your friends who are using this particular platform. And if you have any queries, just uh, do uh, come uh, drop your questions in the comment sections. I'll definitely try to get back with you. And that's all. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.